All right, we want to solve this. We want to start off by figuring out the equation. When is the object going to be 15 meters above the ground? The simple answer to that is we're just going to set a equal to, or s equal to 15 is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 20t. And actually, I just moved 15 over to the right side, and this becomes zero. And we just plug this into the quadratic formula. Um, and we're going to get, uh, let's see here. So we get I just plug in solving for T gives us about when I solve for it opposite of B um, so negative 20 plus or minus square root of B squared which is 400 minus 4 times AC, which is negative 15, all over 2A, which is... So we end up getting roughly... is uh, T is equal to roughly negative 1 or 6. In this case, it's going to be 6 seconds because you can't have a negative value. Ew. All right, B. When will it strike the ground? So we just set this equal to zero. So negative 4.9 T squared plus 20 T equals zero. So factor out a T, uh, negative 4.9 T plus 20 equals zero. Um, 4.9 T is equal to 20. Divide by 4.9, divide by 4.9. T is going to be equal to roughly roughly 4.08 seconds. All right, and then finally the third part. Will object uh, reach a height of 100? Well, let's find out. So you just set um, negative 4.9 t squared plus 20 t equal to 100. Uh, 4.9, oops. t squared plus 20 t minus 100 equals 0. And then you plug this into the quadratic formula or however you want to do it. Um, there it never reaches 100, but what you can do to determine this is use you use the determinant. So you get b squared, so 20 squared minus 4 times a times c. So it ends up being a uh, 400 minus this right here, which is larger than 400. So you get a negative result under the radical, which means that there's unreal solutions. So it can't happen. No, never reaches 100. 100 feet, 100, 100, 100 meters ever reaches. All right, that's it.